What up, y'all? I'm here with another prediction for the May 16th fight card in Jacksonville for the UFC. Uh, well, I'm gonna talk. The fight I'm gonna talk about right now is uh, Dan Ige versus Edson Barboza. First of all, Edson Barboza is going down to 145. That's crazy. It's crazy in the fact that the dude is. 511 with a 75 inch reach you know he he's going to be a big guy at uh featherweight if this fight goes well for him that is if the weight cut is good that's my question about about the fight for Edson is how's he going to do with that weight cut is he going is his a uh, Abilities as a fighter are going to be deteriorated a little bit. I still think I got that word wrong. Um, will he be able to take a hit? Even though, you know, he's taken quite a few hits in his career. I, th I think his last, if I'm not mistaken, his last fight was with Paul Felder, right? Um... Anyway, Dan Ige, uh, his last fight was a win, 5-7, 71-inch reach. Uh, he's definitely coming in with a, with a height and reach disadvantage in this fight. Um, primarily a wrestler. He likes to use the pressure, but... The speed of the kicks that Edson Barboza has is phenomenal. You know, Joe Rogan says all the time is he's the fastest kicker he that he's seen in the UFC. And the fact that the fact that Edson, you know, he he fights behind. He'll definitely I I see him using his kicks first thing, or at least. Because he's finding a guy who's a little bit of a wrestler, um, he, he'll be, you know, fighting behind his jab and uh, setting up kicks, starting low and then working his way up. Especially if Ige starts dropping his hands to protect his uh, legs, or if Edson times the takedowns. Edson's been known to have good takedown defense. Um, you you might not think so if you hadn't seen Edson before. You know, got fighting guys like Habib and all that. I think Ige is going to have problems with Edson's reach, his speed, the the power of his kicks, and the takedown defense. I see this fight going Edson's way. Skill wise, anyway, that's if you know the drop down to 145 hasn't affected him very well. I just I think Edson's too big, too long, too fast for Ige in this fight. All right, y'all, that's my prediction for this fight. I got two more fights left. I'm gonna do the co main and the main event, um, hopefully before the fights start. Uh, Alright, I'll see y'all in a little bit.